Hello, my beautiful beauties, my wonderful lovelies, a pleasant afternoon to you. I want to ask our Jamaican politicians some questions. Do you ever, at any point in time, want to go down in history as a great leader, as a great steward of the people of Jamaica? I'm really and truly asking, because it cannot be just for gain, for profit, or to be a part of some sort of a clique or a sect. Or a group because you know the reality my dear politicians you and I at some point or other some before the other we're not escaping life alive not in the least and how things are running now people can go at any ages gone are the days where you would expect that once someone has completed three scores and ten at the very least they may get a few borrowed more years after and then the judgment of death comes and they will either land in heaven's pearly gates or hell's nightmare. The reality, my dear politicians. No, I don't wish ill for any human being on this planet. I made no one, so I wish no ill. But it just bothers me to know that many of you do not care about the Jamaican people. Because it, if you did, it would have reflected. You know, the Bible says the rain falls on the just and the unjust. I know some people take it for something negative, but I use it in the positive. You know, because I use rain as a symbolism of God's um, blessings and favor and multiplication when he gives out. So it doesn't matter where somebody falls. If you're on one particular political fence, you ensure that both political fences benefit. That is how you win the hearts and the minds of the people you have to get into their soul realm so to speak so that your names can be carved and engraved in the lamb's book of the people to say you are a great leader you contributed greatly to this country socially economically spiritually and otherwise but many of you are just riding on the banks of profit and clique and then eventually when you're out, because you're going to be out in, either by death or by retirement or being thrown out somewhere or other. And your names are rubbed out, you're forgotten. If somebody remembers you, they remember you to be a diabolical, heinous, wicked and evil leader. I don't know how you do it. I could never feel comfortable with that. Because you're going to have regrets. I find that the older you get, the more you start to reminisce on past things that took place. I just want to know, politicians. Follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this.